Welcome to this tutorial that will show you how to add documents to InfoScience. To submit a new document, you need to be identified. First, we are then going to log in. At the top right of the page, click on Login and use your Gasper credentials. Once you are identified, choose a document type in the Submit drop-down menu. Then, you need to fill the relevant field of the form. The Import Record field is to be used for automatic import. We explain how to use this feeder in another tutorial. Fields with an asterisk are mandatory. When you add an author, a drop-down menu with EPFL members appears. You can choose from this menu by clicking on the name. For authors not affiliated to EPFL, write the full name starting with the family name, comma, first name, and then click on the name that appears in the drop-down menu. Keywords must be entered one per line. There are three types of links you can add to the record. First, you can link the records to other publications in InfoScience. You have to specify what the relation between the two publications is. Then, you can link the record to datasets. Don't forget to specify what identifier you're using, URL or DOI. Finally, you can enter another URL if the previous fields do not fit your needs. At the bottom of the form, you need to specify which laboratories have produced the doc and click on it in the drop-down menu. You can type the full name or the acronym of the laboratory. In the last part of the form, you can upload a document to which you can apply a license or an embargo. Upload the full text of the publication, whether it is a preprint, a postprint, or the final version. You can decide to restrict access to the full text to the EPFL community or just to the labs involved in the publication. Please refer to the license agreement with the publisher to know what you are allowed to upload. Bear in mind that you can upload more than one file. Once you have filled all the relevant fields, click on Submit. Once you're done, you will need to wait for internal validation before the record appears on InfoScience. You will receive a confirmation email after each submission. You also receive another email once the library InfoScience team has validated the record. At that point, the record will appear in InfoScience. If you have any question regarding InfoScience, please contact us at infoscience at epfl.ch. This is the end of the tutorial, and we hope it has been useful. Thanks for watching.